Alrighty guys, how's it going? So we're going to be looking at the R9 shotgun once again doing an updated class setup for it for its standard ammunition which is buckshot. So now for those of you that don't know, this right here used to be my favorite shotgun in this game but a while back it got nerfed and since then it has been borderline dog doo-doo uh if, at least if you're just using it in regular core but i've found a you know another series of attachments that we can throw on this thing to make it not quite what it used to be but as close as we can possibly get so we're gonna be starting with the muzzle throwing on the monolithic suppressor i normally didn't uh you know ever run a suppressor or really any muzzle attachment on this shotgun back in its glory day like i would throw the choke on there sometimes just because that helped a wee bit but uh now what you really gotta do is you just gotta throw everything on this right here up front that you can in order to um increase its damage range so we're gonna go with the forge tack century barrel monolithic suppressor on the front then scoot down to the under barrel we're gonna be throwing on the merc 4 grip mainly for the little boost and aim down sight speed that it gives you the recoil control is just a, an added bonus um, then go over to the rear grip though on the stipple grip tape for the sprint to fire speed because ADS when this does help quite a bit but where you know it's still it's it's shotgun you're gonna end up hip firing it most of the time especially if you're on a smaller map like shipment which is what I'm gonna try to get into uh, now for the final and fifth attachment I definitely prefer uh, to use the FTAC close quarters pro on the pumps but uh, that's something that you could kind of change up if you wanted to throw on a laser. Feel free to do so, especially if you just plan on hip firing, you know, throw you 5 milliwatt or the 1 milliwatt laser on there. For the ammunition, you know, this is meant to be for the standard, you know, the standard ammunition, the standard uh, flipping buckshot. God dang, had a mental lapse right there. Um, and you definitely don't need the tube extensions because, you know, this bad boy already has, uh, you know, 14 in, in the do jig air. So don't need any of that. You could throw in slight of hand, but I found where you've already got some many uh you know it rounds with this where it's that dual tube like you know over under dual barrel design uh it's more than enough to handle most everything you need to and then you can just kind of step aside and reload whenever you get a chance so yeah like i said we're gonna be going with the ftac close quarters pro for the pumps and that is how we're going to run this bad boy and that's like from all the combinations that i've tried um here over the past like couple matches and stuff this is the, the only one i've found that brings it anywhere close to what it used to be now for a full class run down for the opera match, we got the R9 shotgun set up I just showed you guys. We got the Renetti set up in burst fashion for the secondary. For first, we got EOD, Ghost, and Amp. For a lethal, we got a frag grenade. And for a tactical, we got a stun grenade. Well, lucky us. We got shipment domination on the first try. Like I said, we are in core. Um, but I will say this. If you are looking, you know, to get this shotgun um, gold or you're just working on the camo grind in general, uh, I would definitely recommend going ahead and just playing uh, hardcore because it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Jesus Christ, bro, what just happened right there? I got, I got frozen the Matrix. I mean, look at that, bro. Back in the day, one shot to each one of them pussies would have killed them. And now it's like you have to double shot people right up close. Now, right there, that guy was already wounded, but that's, that's kind of what led to that. So, you know, I mean, ADS and does help a lot. Um, but, you know, especially when you're on a smaller map like this, ADS can be really a, a big inconvenience. And since you have to throw on these other attachments to really boost your range, um, it hurts your ADS time a lot. So, I mean, that's why we went ahead and threw on uh, pretty much the three most uh, useful and beneficial ADS attachments that we can, bro. Oh, my God, mate. It's going to look, like you said, it makes me look so bad, but this, this packet loss and flipping ping and garbage. But anyways, like I said, we, we, there's enough complaining across all my videos to make up for about 10 people when it comes to the internet issue. But what, even with this, I mean, we should still be able to manage about even. But, you know, when it comes to shipment domination, I mean, when it comes to shipment in general, regardless of playing core or whatever, you know, a lot of games more than not end up being around the even uh ballpark regardless just because of uh you know spawns and stuff at some point you'll end up like dying to uh getting shot out of spawn like three different times look at that bro my butt shot froze midair you can count every pellet out of it oh but that's just how the cookie crumbles mike that's just how the cookie crumbles yes baby touch the sky the sky's the limit girl go for gold okay let's throw this over here see if we just wait out for these guys we'll hop on b i, I need to like just quit throwing stuff because that's caused me to get caught with my pants down let's take and hit him well, you know, one minute he's 20 yards away from me, the next minute he's sticking his thing right in my mouth. So at least if he does it again, I swear I'm going to bite down on it. Let's... What, ju what just killed me? What just killed me? Why is my ping spiking that high? Jesus Christ, and we are getting triple capped right now. Actually triple capped. 
I'm just look. I, I got all these I mean, all these rounds. I'm just gonna just spray down this alley. I'm gonna keep her going. That guy, he just stepped right on top. I mean, that's what you get. I blew both your kneecaps out, pussy. Okay, let's reload. So that's the only thing that you know can take a hot minute on a map this size when you know I sell spawns and everything. People are gonna come up in here and just be stepping on you every two seconds. I really, I'm like the fact that we're playing. What I just power slided, mate. And it done did went and retraced me back to my original position. So okay, let's 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 reload right here. These guys, somebody's bound to come through this shipping container right here. Is that an enemy? I really can't tell. No, that's a teammate. Whenever you know you get the stuns or whatever up on you, it just dicks your vision up to the point where you can't see what's in front of you. But we got a UAV for our teammates, so by God, we're contributing something. And we're positive, too, so it's not even that. That body just got absolutely yeeted. I don't know if y'all have seen that. It happened pretty fast. If you didn't, I highly recommend going back and replaying that because that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, this is shipment, too. So, I mean, I know, you know, this map right here is as small as it gets. So, um... Well, actually, no, you know, what? what is it? Aquarium, Atrium is, is a lot smaller. So some of the gunfight maps are actually smaller, you know, if we're going to be technical about it. But in terms of, you know, your standard multiplayer maps, uh, shipment's about as small as it gets. So, you know, it's best case scenario. You know, if you're working on shotguns, especially this one, and you just want to stick with the core, then uh, make sure you take advantage of this shoot to ship playlist that's active right now because, you know, uh, Season 5 is only, what, like, um... I think at this point, at the time of recording, it's eight days away, seven days away, something like that. So, you know, this playlist ain't going to be around much longer. It'll obviously come back since it is a fan favorite. But um, you never know how long that's going to be because I'm sure, you know, when, with the Season 5 coming, you know, they're going to have new maps, new game, well, probably a new game mode, new weapons, all that good old stuff, which is very exciting. Um, but if you're on that camo grind, now's the time to really, you know, be grinding on, on, on the shoot to ship playlist. But... Yeah, so let's see. Okay, now we gotta be negative. Now we done did went and got slippity slap like ten different flavors of vanilla, just right out of the spawn the past three go rounds right here. Oh, there we go in the back. At least we got one on for that. See that guy just spawned right behind us. That's that's how it goes. It's really frustrating to me whenever I get spawned in like complete separate corners of the map and like you know like three or four times in a row and I still ended up like end up getting killed by. I mean not, it's nor, not normal normal Nelly. Can I speak English, bro? That's why I don't do anything in the morning. It takes me like five hours to actually wake wake up. Like I, I'm on my second cup of coffee, so you know that really expedites the, the process and kind of boosts the mental uh, the mental speed. But, you know, it's still early. It's just I'm going to be gone for the majority of the day. And then as soon as I get back, I should be recording a new video for the uh, the Pro Calibre shooting channel revo uh, in regarding the my Inside the Wasteband Bravo Concealment Holster. So be looking forward to that. If you haven't already, check out the Discord link because as soon as it goes live, I'll be posting the video. I might even post it early there before I even make it public. So, um, so yeah, just be looking at the old Pro Calibre shooting channel because that... If I do that, I, it should be, depending on what time I get back today, it should be edited and uploaded probably by, I'd say, about 7, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Because, um, I mean, I ain't going to be doing nothing too crazy with it, just giving kind of my first impressions and everything. And then from there, we'll decide what we want to do on the old shooting channel. I got a lot of stuff planned. It's just about when am I going to be able to, like, execute it. Um, just because be, I'm a busy duck at the moment. I love it, bro. I love getting shot back. I love playing shipment, though. Like, no joke. I, um, earlier this morning, I was, I've was i been working on my M4A1, uh, you know, working on getting it, <clears throat> getting it obsidian. And uh, second match on of the morning, hopped in shipment, went 95 and 52, which KD-wise, that's nothing crazy. But, you know, a nice 95 kill game right off the rip in the morning is a good way to start your day, at least if you ask me. What just, I, I, it's just so frustrating whenever you lag and you don't even know what killed you. I mean, obviously I've seen it, you know, I got killed by MP7 right there, but uh, the fact that I, you know, I didn't even know who my attacker was, that just, it just hurts my feelings, mate. It really does. Please don't let that come in here. We're going to tag him up. I, we bound to got God knows how many assists right now. And I'm just frozen place. Frozen in time, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Got to get the Tesseract, travel back in time just so we can kind of try to save. Yeah, I don't, I don't even look. Let's look at the watch real quick. I guarantee no can look at that. Now we are nice, hot, and negative. That's like, we, you know, we're going to pretend it's opposite day and those numbers are going to reverse one another. I mean, it's still possible to bring it back. The only way that would happen is if this, if if my internet actually decided to do its job and connect with Modern Warfare's servers, or that is, if Modern Warfare is the 
you know, like multi-million dollar company, like hundreds of millions of dollar company that it, that, that they are would actually, you know, drop maybe just nothing crazy, just a couple extra million, which I mean, like I said, they got their expenses and everything, but I, I feel like that considering the sign of the times with the COVID and everything, them dropping a couple extra mil on some on some higher end servers or more servers or whatever it is they need to do just so that people could have good connection to the game. You know, I feel like that that shouldn't be that big of a deal, but apparently it is because you know their servers are trash and or at least something about their servers and, my, and the servers my internet company uses just not yeehaw one another whatsoever. But that's just how she goes. And this game right here ain't too far from being over. And I, there we go. Okay, we, okay. I feel. Never mind. I was about to say it feels like we got a nice little section of something right here, but we really don't. It's just about catching those couple seconds of smoothness at the right moment, like right when it happens. Boom! Get off my toaster's peni, baby. Is that guy? Oh my God! They're all playing patty cake over at that barrel. Let's, let's, let's hit him with the old granada. See if we can snag some of them. Not even a hit marker. I disagree, guys. Highly disagree. We're gonna get that guy. He thought he was slick laying down. I thought I was slick by being where I was, but apparently I'm not. We'll throw that over A side. We got all these teammates pushing through the mid here. Teammate on A. I'm really surprised nobody's like just bum rushing this A side right here, but what can you do? And now, okay, yep. Whole enemy team just chilling. Just chilling right there. Boom, baby. The pre aim. Let's get it. It's just like whenever you got a shotgun like this, you really shouldn't have to. Pre game and you know back in the day you didn't with this shotgun i mean you could stand back here and i mean i get i kind of get why they had to nerf it in a way but i mean in my opinion the back end it really wasn't that overpowered or nothing it was just it was just one of the better shotguns and i mean now the 680 with slugs or anything is just you know the dominant one um, but you could stand like at the back of the map and like two on, on this map and like two punt people with a standard uh dude and like with his head camping on barrels or anything I'm just, I'm just shooting. I don't even know what, to, I don't even know what to do anymore. Thank God this match is finally over. Whoo! There we go. Yeah, defeat. That's what I love to see. Give me the D, baby. Score limit reach 96 to 200. Didn't even make it to 100. My team is a absolute textbook definition of a unit. Okay, that guy right there might be having the same idea as we do about, you know, trying to get his M4 uh, Damascus or whatever. Even the kill cam's laggy, but anyways, guys, there you go. There's your updated R9 class setup for your regular shotgun. I promise you, it, it, it's good. You know, like you know, if you got solid connection, you really enjoy using it. But once again, if you're going for gold with it or whatever, then I would recommend hopping into hardcore because it'll make your life a lot easier. And then you know, one tapping people and stuff is you know, it, it's almost a given, even if some pretty you know long ranges. So. That's it for this one. Once again, be sure to check out the shooting channel links down in the description because a video will uh, be dropping on there later this evening. A new video will be dropping there later this evening. And you guys always, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. And until the next one, adios.